Hello, I'm Kevin Zettel, a technical marketing engineer here at InfoBlox. Today, I'm here to show you how to use InfoBlox's new tool to convert files from ActiveTrust Cloud S3 bucket. To get started, you'll need to have the Java JDK or Java Developer Kit 8.0 or later installed on your system. To check what version you have, open up the command window and type in Java version. Now let's see how to convert files. Here, you'll notice that I have a file window open on my right, while I'm demoing all of this for you. This is so that you can watch the files being updated instantly. So first, I'm currently in the directory of my tool, and on the right, you'll see that the tool is under the Convert Tool file. Do note that if you don't already have the tool, you can download it from Infobox's support site. Next, I'm running the tool from Java JDK with Java Jar. Do note that this may be different depending on the operating system. Next. The F operation tells the tool what format to convert the files into. Today, I'll be showing you JSON, CSV, and CEF. Be sure to review the deployment guide for all options. The next, the I operation, lets you indicate the input path, or where in the directory you are holding the parquet file, that you want to be converted. Finally, the O operation lets you decide where to output the converted files. Here, you can see that I'm using the parquet file as the input file, the JSON file for the location for the converted files. When I run the tool, you'll see that the converted files are instantly added. Here inside the file, we can see that the data has been converted to a JSON format for you to use however you like. Next, we'll be converting the Parquet files into CEF format. There are two differences between this execution and the last. First being that the format has been changed to CEF and second, that the output is now in CF files. Here, we can see that the files are converted into CEF format for you to use however you like. Finally, we'll be converting the parquet files into CSV format. Like the previous execution, there are only two differences, that being that the format has been changed to CSV and the output is now the CSV files. Do note that the output files can be whichever you choose. Here we can see that the parquet files have been converted into CSV format, and we can see that when we open up Excel, all the data has been converted. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can contact support. Or you can post a comment on the Infobox community site at community.infobox.com. Have a great rest of your day.